The instant system to diagnose coronavirus has been developed in Kazakhstan. It takes only one day to test a patient. The economic value from applying artificial intelligence can amount to 25 billion US dollars per year. Stay tuned for more details about the Digital Forum in Almaty. The Khazjibek poem was staged in new interpretation in Nur Sultan. The instant system to diagnose coronavirus was developed within the shortest amount of time in the National Center for Biotechnology in Kazakhstan. Under the auspices of the Kazakh Healthcare Ministry, research of test samples of patients with suspected coronavirus are being conducted. The test will allow the quick diagnosis. The sample is tested by the traditional method of polymerase chain reaction. This is a highly accurate technique for the diagnosis of numerous infections, which is based on the analysis of the DNA sample. Result of the instant diagnosis for the coronavirus will be known the next day. У нас возникла возможность понять, с чем мы имеем дело и начинать работать над разработкой диагноза. A week and a half ago, we had the opportunity to test the virus and start working on the development of the diagnostic system. We did it as quick as possible. This demonstrated that there is science in Kazakhstan. The fact that we've done it as quick as other countries proves that science in Kazakhstan is developed. С такой же скоростью, как все страны в мире, говорит, что наука есть и uh, дает uh, конкретные практические результаты. Meanwhile, coronavirus is rapidly spreading throughout the world. Cases have been recorded in 18 countries beyond China. The death toll reached 213 people. The vast majority of the cases have been reported in Hubei province. Confirmed cases of the coronavirus infection in China approach 10,000. The total economic value from applying artificial intelligence in Kazakhstan can amount to nearly 25 billion US dollars per year, said Kazakh Prime Minister Askar Mamin. He also said that the country has taken the first steps on using AI technologies as part of the project Smart Data Ukumet. The Institute for Smart Systems and Artificial Intelligence has been formed in Nazarbayev University. The Prime Minister highlighted the need of using AI in all areas of the economy. Askar Mamin said that AI in transport and logistics will contribute to optimization of transit routes. AI will also speed up border crossings in customs. The business meetings in Almaty have become an annual tradition. We discuss digital agenda of the Eurasian Economic Union and development prospects of cooperation between our states in this area. To date, the rapid development and expansion of digital technologies and innovations have a significant impact on the development of the world economy. Kazakhstan keeps leading in the Central Asian region this year. The World Bank experts have announced results of study on Kazakhstan's economic indicators for 2019 and have shared forecasts for the current year. The experts opine that the economic growth and diversification are ensured by Kazakhstan's close proximity to rapidly growing markets such as China, Europe and Central Asia, as well as trade with these markets. Analysts advise to keep working hard on development of transport Support, trade, business, industrialization, and agriculture. So I think it's it's the projection is still quite robust, 3.7 percent. It's still a good growth. And uh, just to remind us all again, this is a baseline scenario uh, based on the data that we have uh, last year uh, up to September. Uh, and certainly we will update our projection once new information comes in the first quarter of this year. Uh, but in general, if I, if I may, <coughs> uh, the 3.7% reflects generally the external challenges. Uh, the global economy environment is still challenging. 
The Netherlands is a key partner of Kazakhstan. More than 800 joint ventures operate in the territory of Kazakhstan. The amount of direct investments from the Netherlands to Kazakhstan has exceeded 90 billion US dollars. Kazakhstan exports crude oil and petroleum products, ferroalloys and titanium to the Netherlands, while the country imports medicine, machinery and equipment, high-tech devices as well as laptops and agricultural goods from the Netherlands. So we started investing in 2017 and up till now we have invested uh, 30 million euros and um, uh, we are planning to invest another 30 million in the, in the coming two years. So completing a 60 million euros uh, investment in, in Actobay. And then, uh, and then we expect to, uh, to stay there for, uh, for the coming 10, 20 years, uh, who knows? Like we have no reason to, uh, to leave Kazakhstan. The main reason to be in Akte Bay is that there is a um, surplus of gas, so um, coming from the oil fields. Uh, so we have enough capacity, uh, we have enough land, of course, and we are very close to the Russian border. The Netherlands is a logistic port of Europe. Kazakhstan is becoming a transport hub of Central Asia. The co-chairperson of the Kazakh Netherlands Business Council said that this can provide opportunities for cooperation. Kazakhstan has five uh, top priorities, uh, among which is agriculture. Now, uh, the Netherlands is the second largest exporter uh, of agricultural products in the world. Uh, uh, although we are a quite small country in uh, surface, which means that our agriculture is very uh, productive. And, uh, but it also means that our country is very full for agricultural entrepreneurs. Kazakhstan can become also a world player. As part of the support program of local producers, over 300 projects worth 221 billion tenge was funded in Kazakhstan last year. In total, 600 billion tenge were allocated for implementation of business ideas of people who live in Kazakhstan. One third of this amount will be used to launch agricultural enterprises. 16 entrepreneurs in Nur Sultan launched projects in tourism, education, light and construction industries. Businessmen are provided with maintenance services by a special project created at the Atamikian National Chamber of Entrepreneurs. First, the project is aimed at supporting the local producers. We have created a project office at the Chamber of Entrepreneurs, where we select projects. As a result of the last year, we have more than 400 projects, and we will develop each project one by one. The main goal is to support the local producers with affordable interest rate of 6% for 10 years. Governor of the Astana International Financial Center, Khairat Kelimbetov, announced the formation of the largest trading platform in Central Asia. He said that this platform will provide the Silk Road with goods, connecting Asia with other continents such as Africa and Latin America. Kazakhstan will be able to increase the investment capital due to this project. Khairat Kelimbetov reported results of activities of the AFC as well. More than 2 billion US dollars were attracted last year. The AFC exchange is one of its kind in the Commonwealth of Independent States and Central Asia that was recognized by Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs of the UK government. The exchange has been successfully launched with the initial public offering of Kaz Atom Prom National Atomic Company. This year, we expect the first sale of Kazmunai Gaz Company's share to the public. This year, almost 100,000 shrubs and trees will be planted in the capital of Tajikistan. The Dushanbe authorities plan to regain the status of the Garden City. In total, communal services plan to green 17 city parks and to build dozens of new garden squares, decorating them with colorful and diverse flower carpets. Local residents are looking forward to the green areas. Look at how beautiful the flowers are. Everybody becomes happier. Dushanbe has been famous for its urban green spaces. I think that gardens and trees should be planted between the skyscrapers. The more green areas, the better it is for the city. Landscaping the city are implemented as part of the celebration of the 30th anniversary of independence of Tajikistan. 
The winner of the Presidential Youth Staff Reserve, Sergei Kompanietz, has started working with the new ideas and plans. He was appointed as a senior staff in the mayor's office of Shumkent. Sergei immediately took into consideration a complete review of industrial zones. He opined that, first of all, it's necessary to automate the data collection of activities of enterprises. This process allows monitoring the work of local producers online. If a company or a person bought land but still do not use it, we will give out it for others. We will give the land to the people who have been waiting for it in the queue. The initiatives offered by the expert include the launch of a single window for beginning business people. The initiative provides available consultation on all interesting topics. The Abai Cultural and Educational Center will be opened in Bulgaria. Project organizers said that every visitor will be able to learn about works of the Kazakh great poet and also find out about Kazakh culture. The National Library of Bulgaria in Sofia also marked Abai's birth anniversary. The exhibition dedicated to the works of Abai Khnan Bayla was opened as well. We were very happy when the center was opened here in the center of Sofia. The location is perfect. Everyone can come to the library and read literary pieces. This is good. Bulgarians mainly read Abai's words of edification. This fundamental book of Abai was published in Bulgarian language in 2008, and it's very popular among our readers. The Khazjebek folk poem has been performed in a new interpretation in Nur Sultan. The legendary poem that became one of the best epic works of Kazakh people has been previewed at the Nomad City Hall. Stage director Dina Khunanbay said that a troupe tried to showcase their own vision of the well-known folk epic by reflecting peculiarities of beloved characters in a deeper level. The modern set design and musical accompaniment were the highlight of the performance. Spectators enjoyed the actors' play and feel the mysterious atmosphere of the theater hall. A special attention was paid to choreography of the performance. The play is planned to be premiered on February 1st. In this performance, I try to showcase the main character, Khazjebek, as a strong and brave woman. If you consider the epic, you will see how Khazjebek gives a powerful speech. We have been studying this legend for a long time. She is a warrior woman who cares a lot about her honor. You won't see Khazjebek, who is ready to sacrifice herself for love in this performance. In the end of our play, Khazjebek realizes that she is a widow. Her character was fully ingrained with national spirit. We decided to showcase this. According to the poem, she was forced to marry Sansasbai. We tried to show this story line to spectators in detail. A chest has been one of the most important attributes in a house. In Central Asian countries, the chest is not just a piece of furniture, but a decoration and embodiment of family comfort. For example, this time of the year, craftsmen building a wooden chest prepare for the wedding season, because traditionally the bride's dowry is collected in the chest. Next month there will be a wedding party in our family. My son is getting married and I've decided to buy a chest for my future daughter-in-law. I chose the Tajik traditional chest made of wood. Modern chests are different from previous ones in many ways. Today they are made in European style. The family of Firuz Sharipov is a dynasty of masters in chess making. We pay special attention to the quality of our chests. We have mastered technology of building new types of chests, which suit the modern furniture. We use a wood chipboard to make the base, and then we sheath it with a sponge and cover it with soft cloth and leather. In average, my brothers and I make three chests in a day. 